A year ago today, my life changed forever. No, I didn't see an alien or discover I had a long lost twin or anything like that. My life changed when I went to the Holy Land, a land of fame, glitz and glamour. A land where James Charles snatches his eyebrows and Jenna Marbles is, well, Jenna Marbles. That land goes by the name of Los Angeles, California. If you know me in real life, then you'd probably be laughing right now. As you know, I can't go a day without somehow slipping LA into a conversation. But I bring it up so often because the trip I took and LA as a place changed me as a person forever. Being a very anxious individual with multiple phobias, the thought of flying 5,160 miles away from home, my parents, my comfort zone, was terrifying. For months before I went on the trip, I would panic and cry about going. I wanted to go but the fear of getting ill or being alone for a week surprisingly didn't make me squirm with excitement. I didn't know anyone going on the trip, at least that's what I told myself. Granted nobody going on the trip was from my immediate friend group at the time, but that didn't mean I didn't have any friends. But of course, I didn't quite see it that way. In the run up to the trip I received the trip hoodie which was awesome, but also a reminder of my impending doom, or so I thought. My friends kept asking me if I was excited for the trip and they'd say things like I'm so jealous or I bet you're so excited and all I could really respond with was well no I'm not actually. I didn't really know how to feel about going. On the morning of the trip I awoke at crazy o'clock in the morning and said my goodbyes to my family. I distinctly remember worrying about how I was going to find people I knew when I pulled up into the school car park. It was pitch black outside and everyone was huddled together in a big group in front of the school. Finding a friend seemed like finding a needle in a haystack. But sure enough, as soon as I got out the car, I found people. In fact, I ended up finding a group of people who I not only sat with on the coach, but also hung out with at the airport. I was ecstatic and felt somewhat at peace. I was still a nervous wreck and found eating a real challenge, considering my mouth was drier than the Sahara. And eating was a big struggle for me the whole trip, but I managed to find some coping mechanisms that helped me with that. As the trip continued, my group of four wandered the streets of LA, and I was proud of myself for going out of my comfort zone and making new friends. Then, on a visit to a particularly dull mall. For context here, our coach driver Jose dropped us at a random mall, something to do with him not being allowed to drive after a certain amount of time. So we just picked the nearest mall. Turns out there was only about four shops still open at that time. So as you can tell, we had a lot of fun. Um, definitely would recommend going to a mostly closed mall. Um, it's really something you've got to take off your bucket list. Anyway, on this trip, I ended up talking to two girls in the year above. I was so surprised to find we had so much in common and actually got on really well. So my group of four soon became a group of six. As well as my close group of friends, I also spoke to a lot of other new people, both in my year and the year above, which was something so small, but also something that I was so pleased I did. I'm like so proud of myself. I've spoken to so many new people today. I spoke to them. I get on so well with them. Like. It's so weird, like I've spoken to so many new people um, that I like wouldn't normally talk to because either I thought they were like completely different to me or they were in the year above so I just don't want to talk to them. But like, I've spoken to so many new people and they're all so nice. Like yeah, today I felt like so much better, like mentally I found it so much easier to eat. Like lunchtime was a little struggle, like I had a little tiny panic about eating, so I just had a salad because I didn't like, I didn't feel like I'd be able to eat, like, a burger. I also, of sorts, conquered my fear of roller coasters when I made the impulsive decision to go on the Jurassic Park ride at Universal. This ride was a dizzyingly high log flume ride with a drop of 85 feet. Not exactly my idea of fun. Here's a photo of me on Dragon Falls, a shorter, tamer version of this ride we have here in the UK, with a drop of a mere 49 feet which is almost half of what I was about to experience. Terrified does not even cover how my trembling self felt strapped into that ride with no escape. I think I've actually repressed the memories of the actual drop as all I really remember was the countdown before the daunting descent. Even then I can only really recall hearing the numbers 10 through to eight. Next thing I knew I was falling and I can distinctly recall thinking quite how far the fall felt. After we splash landed, a new attitude along with a tidal wave of water washed over me and a braver, more rational thinking Emily walked off that ride. I'm still a nervous wreck at times, don't get me wrong, 
But I'd like to think that I'm a braver nervous wreck now, and I believe I have this trip to thank for that. Before I went on this trip, I was terrified. And I'm sure in the future I can expect to feel just as terrified about something else. I for sure thought I'd find it difficult to make friends. I played multiple scenarios over in my head and planned what I was going to say to people. And in the end, I didn't need any of it. None of these scenarios came true. I wasn't a loner. I didn't catch a vomit bug. The plane didn't crash. In fact, if I learned anything from this trip, it's that it all turns out worse in your head. All the planning, all the overthinking, all the nervous rambles you give to your friend about how scared you are, they don't change anything. If anything, they make you feel worse. In the end, you may just have a bit of fun. So go, go do something. Go do something that terrifies you because in the end, it may actually just change your life. Hey!